Top 5 Best Communication Exercises 5. Game of Truths In this exercise, couples take turns making 5 truthful statements. This activity can be done for 20 to 30 minutes. A timer can be set. You can share secrets, thoughts, feelings, and concerns. It is important for the listener to try to avoid any judgment and practice compassion. If someone opens up and their feelings are invalidated or they are judged then this creates an unsafe space for sharing. It is important to allow your partner to feel comfortable sharing with you. It's not uncommon for there to be tension between couples after sharing deep thoughts or concerns. But, if you want your partner to feel safe and respected about sharing thoughts, a negative reaction should be avoided. So let your partner speak without being made to regret it moments later. Game of truths, when done properly, permits parties to be emotionally upfront and can create trust. It also allows parties to practice active listening so that the other feels heard. 4. Mirroring. Mirroring will help parties to practice active listening. When you actively listen you listen with the sole intent of hearing what your partner has to say while striving to understand what they mean and the feelings behind what they have to say. To perform this activity you simply reflect to your partner what you heard them say to ensure that you accurately received the message that was being conveyed. To practice mirroring you can take turns telling a story or discussing an event. This will help to improve communication because it will help you to be a better listener. Oftentimes when a partner is speaking we are creating a rebuttal in our minds or we are just waiting them out so that we can present our opinion. 3. 12 questions. This activity is geared towards improving emotional connection by allowing the parties to discuss things that may not have been discussed before. This can be a fun activity for long-term partnerships where parties often wrongly assume that they know everything about each other. People change and they may start having different views. So 12 questions are about seeing your partner as an interesting being and responding with eagerness to learn more about him or her. It reminds us of the need to be curious and take an interest in our partner and their inner world. You can come up with the questions to ask. For example, what is one thing you've always wanted to do but you've never done? 2. Practicing I statements. Statements that begin with you are often blaming and critical. It's therefore important to express ourselves using I statements. Using I statements generally ensures that we are expressing how we feel and not directing blame. It can be done in the following way. I feel dash insert emotion feeling words such as ignored and disrespected. When you do dash specific action statement or event. And what I need is dash specific behavior change alternative response or call to action. 1. Keep a you and me journal. This activity will require a notebook or journal. You will take turns writing messages to each other. You can use the notebook for love notes, to express appreciation for something, or to express a strong emotion about something. Writing to each other is a wonderful way to communicate because when we use writing as our mode of communicating we tend to be more deliberate and careful about how we express ourselves so we are less likely to hurt our partner's feelings and more likely to specifically state our wants and needs. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.